You've said that you've had friends and family members who have gotten killed from right. guns. Right, most definitely. Like how many people that you were close to have gotten killed by a gun? Um, plenty. You get what I'm saying? I I I can sit here. I probably try to name them and forget some. Like, okay. That's how much. That's how many niggas done died. A dozen. At least. At least a dozen. Most definitely. How old were you when you started losing people through guns? Um, it happened like middle, like the first one really, like it happened middle school, rest in peace Fred, but I was in middle school, like the eighth grade. And it's like once he died, it just started happening back to back, back to back. You get what I'm saying? I mean, here you are in eighth grade, you're going to a funeral and there's a little kid in the casket. Right. R- really? Eighth nah, grade, he, man. You're he just... was older. He was older. How old was he? Fred was like, I want to say, I want to say like 20. Okay. Yeah. But are you, I mean, but that was the first one. Were there kids that were getting killed along the way? Um, Not really many I can think of, like in middle school. I mean, I know some, but probably not no close, close partners. But like okay. Fred, that that's my first cousin. Okay, but 20 is still really young. Like how old are you right now? I'm 20 now. You're 20 right now. Yeah. And let, let me tell you, I'm in my 40s. Right. Like, you still got a long way to go and a lot of dope shit to experience. Yeah, a, a lot of more you know people. You know what I mean? And a lot of more people got to go to the grave. You know, it, like, I still got old people in my family who ain't who ain't died. And, it, it, like, right. everybody got a time. We just pray that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just hope yeah. for the best. Well, I mean, so here you are. You're seeing this 20-year-old in the casket. Right. Like, how is that affecting you as an eighth grader? I mean, a lot. Like... Right, right after that, I start, I start like getting kicked out of school, but like my mama went mad cause she understand. You get what I'm saying? Like long live Slim, but I got a little nephew named Cody. This really Slim nephew, but like when Slim died, Cody, Cody like the straight A's, but when Slim died, he making E's. Mm. But I'm telling his mama like. You gotta understand that his uncle gone and he he young, he not really realizing, but he he know it's something, but he not really like realizing what's going on. So now he making E's and D's and he getting kicked out of school. You get what I'm saying? It just like it, it he'll come on long, he'll come along later on, but right now he going through something that he kinda understand but he don't. Well yeah, man. I mean it tears families apart when something like that happens. Right. I mean, cause you got all these people who, who lose somebody, you know, really, really early. Right. And, you know, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, some of them have kids. Exactly. Um, and then, you know, sometimes you know who did it. Sometimes you don't know who did it. Exactly. Sometimes the people get caught and go to jail. Sometimes the people, no one knows who did it. No one knows. <laughs> you know? right. Or maybe everyone knows who did it, but no one wants to do anything about right. it. Right, exactly. Like, like you, you, you know, I've had so many of these interviews and so many of these stories um, you know, and it's just, you know, and I've, I've talked to people, I've interviewed people who have killed other people. Right. You know, and have gone to prison for it. Right. Uh, you know, it, it's a, you know, or people didn't go to prison because it was self-defense. Right. It's a, it's a fucked up situation. But when you, when you, you're talking about over a dozen people are getting killed unnaturally at a relatively young age, you know, was there ever a thought of like, I got to get up out of here because I, I might be next. Most definitely. Like. God forbid, but I think about death every day. You get what mm. I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's normal or not normal, but I think about it, so that's why I try to move real good. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I hope for the best, but I think about it a lot. Like, that's why I say, and blind nights, I think about death, but I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really think about it a lot, but I know God got the best for me and my family. I mean, like, violence-wise, what's the worst thing that happened to you, personally? Um, violence? Yeah. I mean, like, I What's just, happened to you? Um, nah, I ain't never been shot. None of that. It's just regular shit. Like, on the block, nigga come shoot the block up. Like, it, it had got normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, pretty sure if you're on the block, your block done got hit up. <laughs> right, although, but it's but it's not normal. It's normal to you. Yeah, it's normal to, like, people in the hood, is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I mean, it's a sad situation, man. Right. It's a sad, And it sounds like you're kind of going through PTSD. Right. But I, I nah, I'm not. But I, I, got, I got out of there quick. You know what I'm saying? I got well, out I mean, of there if, quick. If, like, if you're, 
if you're thinking about death every single day, kind of post traumatic stress. Po- post traumatic uh, stress. Uh, yeah, I, I, like like I, I live a good life now, though. You get what I'm saying? But I, even though I still think about it, cause I'm still I'm still making wrong moves, but I try to make the best move. You get what I'm saying? Yeah.